Hey everyone, this is Carter with First Updates Now, coming out of the first in Michigan State Championship. Today I'm with 4392, the Deceivers. They have a custom 3D printed swerve drive mechanism, a pivoting shooter, and an under the bumper intake. Let's check all that out and more on this episode of Behind the Bumpers. Support Funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button on any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, why don't you tell me a little bit about your Swerve Drive and all the uh, iterations that went into it. So yeah, this is our uh, custom swerve based off of the Nick Cousins swerve design. This is our fourth year running it. We've iterated on it every year. We run it because it's a little bit smaller than the Mark IV-I and a lot more maintainable. So we have our, every everything is pretty much 3D printed inside other than this main mounting plate here. We run a Kraken on the drive. We used to run Vortexes. We had a little bit of issues with that early in the season, so we swapped to Krakens. We love them. Um, we have a little bit faster gear ratio than the L3 on the Mark IV-I, so that lets us get just a little bit at top end speed. And then we run a Neo 550 on the Azimuth, and that allows us to keep it small and a little bit less power draw. So what we've played with in the past two years here is all these different wheels that we have here. We started off with a uh, basic treaded wheel. You'll see this on a lot of different swerve drives. Um, this is just from Andy Mark. Just an aluminum wheel on a with tread on it. And it works super well, but it wears out. And as it wears out, these bolts will let go on here and that'll jam up and uh, like disable us for a match. And we just couldn't have that. So we actually swapped to the rev wheels last year. Um, we found some quality control issues with these. They also let go and jammed up at the swerve. So then we decided that we wanted to go um, with these Colson wheels that we actually custom mill out to work with our bevel gear on our custom swerve. Um, these work really well at home when we practice on tile, but they don't have the traction that we want on um, the carpet out here. So we actually swapped to these custom 3D printed wheels that um, we have here. So it's we print this out of a TPU on a Stratasys with dissolvable, dissolvable um, supports. And then we put this little guy in for an insert to hold the bevel gear. It's made out of Onyx and on a more, uh, made of Onyx on a marked forge printer. Uh, we found that this works really well and they wear down to be about smooth without letting go at all, which lets us keep running a match even if we don't have a ton of traction. And that just lets us make sure that even if we're a little bit slower, we still are moving rather than losing a whole swerve module. That is absolutely incredible. Very nice swerve drive and it's been working very well at the Michigan State Championship. Can we move over to the intake side of things? So for our intake, we have these carbon fiber rollers with silicone on them. Um, it just, kind of grabs the node and slides it up in there. Uh, we have two sensors, one here and here, that tell us what, at what point the uh, note is inside the robot. Um, the LEDs turn different colors based on where it is. Um, we use, on the very bottom roller, we use uh, this cat tongue tape, it works very well. It, we were using uh, the silicone on the very bottom roller, but that was uh, it was rubbing on the carpet and it would just tear itself apart. So the cat tongue is just a little bit thinner, so it doesn't doesn't fall apart at all. Awesome. Can we move into the transfer system and the shooter and talk a little bit about the pivot that the shooter's on? Uh, the pivot that the shooter is on, we what was it custom? It's a custom gear that we actually mill on our Omeo at home. Uh, it's just a big gear with a little planetary gear that pivots it. So it comes straight in from the ground and take up into here, sensor changes, and then once we have the note in here, it changes again. I can't get my hand in there. Can you get your hand in there? It <laughs> changes again. We found that the we put a Kraken up here, which helps us shoot hard. Uh, most of the teams that are around two Krakens. On a 1.5 to 1 abduction. On the 1.5 to 1 abduction. 
And uh, most of the teams that we found cannot shoot as hard as we can, and we find that we kind of scare them. <laughs> One of these wheels is grippier than the other and allows us to kind of spin the nose, shoot it in the right direction. We want, we're focusing on just getting it as, mo as accurate as we could, and it seems to be working really well. And we haven't had any issues with these. We have an elevator in here. The oh. elevator was supposed to help us with trapping, but we found that it helps us. We found that it helps us with amping, as well as getting from the human player source station. It, if we could get it to work, it works really well for us and allows us to move smoothly at the human player station and get out of people's way quicker. Awesome. Can we see a demonstration? Yep. Suck it in. Let's see an amp shot so we don't shoot it too far. I forgot it went that far. <laughs> awesome. Now, can we move over to the climber side of things? So, originally we had a hook on a arm that kind of folded down and that was so that we could attempt to trap however we discovered that our center of gravity was too far forward and we would just face plant so um, between our now and our last competition we created this linear climber um, it just goes up and down it works great uh, we were able to use the same gearbox from the uh road the original climber we were using and we are go going to upgrade it. Um, the pulley is a little small so it is a bit slow, um, but it works pretty well. Awesome. Now let's move on to the software side of things. What kind of sensors do you have on the robot? What kind of cameras do you have on the robot? And what do you use them for exactly? So yeah, you'll notice we have two limelights on here. We have a limelight two up here plugged into a Google Coral to do AI note tracking on our intake side so that we can automatically line up with notes when we want to intake. And we also have our limelight three down here that's tracking um, April tags. We only track the center April tag on the goal. We found that that's just a little bit more stable. We see a lot of teams doing this 3D pose. It just drops the frame rate and sometimes you don't get that second April tag. And we like being able to hit that really long shot, which means we can really only see one April tag at any given point in time. So this just makes it a little bit more stable for us. Well, overall, awesome robot mechanically, very well packaged um, software wise. Awesome that you're picking up uh, notes using AI, everything like that. Great performance from you guys this weekend. You're my dark horse, and I'm looking forward to you guys proving that. This is Carter with First Updates Now, signing out. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support.